What's up everyone, Chuck Bailey here with The Bass Channel and today we're gonna to be talking about the Fusion 800S by Galen Kruger. If you're new here, uh, make sure and like and subscribe, hit the little bell so you can get notifications, and if you want the super secret Batman layer uh, level content, make sure and subscribe to the Patreon too. It costs you less than a coffee, and uh, you get all kinds of little tidbits, new information, stuff that you're not going to find normally on the video, so check it out. Okay, if you made it past the intro, then I get to tell you all the goodies about this wonderful little amp here. The 800 Fusion S is kind of a, a, a flagship design in, in GK's uh, models of amps that they offer in that it's the first tube-driven Class D amplifier that they've offered. It's powered by three 12AX7 tubes. One of these tubes is solely dedicated to the overdrive channel. So it is a tube dedicated overdrive channel for this amp. And let me tell you, it sounds amazing. All the tones you're gonna hear in the demo uh, and, and in this video are gonna be through the GKCX210 cap. And the mic is the Electro Voice RE320. <laughs> Uh, the GK offers its standard four band EQ uh, control scheme that it has here. You have your bass, low mid, high mid, and treble. And right behind that, if you engage the buttons, and I'll turn this on and show you uh, short, uh, a little bit later in the video, um, each one also gives you the bump, contour, high cut, and presence option. So you'll be able to boost and cut different frequencies depending on what your play style is, the level of attack on your playing, and if you're playing active passive, the trim knob helps with that too, and I'll get into those, uh, those details later. The trim adjusts the level of the signal that's coming in from your bass to the amp. As you uh, engage or disengage the trim, it, it activates a revoicing filter in the amp specifically, and you'll hear those uh, tubes engage, and there's a noticeable difference in your tone, whether active or passive. All right, let's have some fun now. We're gonna cut to Divinity uh, Rocks with her signature Warwick streamer, and she's gonna put this through its paces. Overdrive is just like it sounds. When you have it engaged and the indicator is blue, the overdrive is on. You'll also notice that as the overdrive button is engaged, you'll have access to other controls in edge and cut and level and body. Here's Johnny Boy again with a really cool punk riff on the Epiphone Vintage 4 Thunderbird. Check it out.
queue for the amp is always engaged, whether you're using the overdrive option or the normal option. You still have access to each one of these voicings and their alternates. Again, each uh, knob here, bass, low mid, high mid, and treble, have uh, an engage or disengage option where the indicator is either blue or white, and it cuts or boosts mids, treble, and bass frequencies. For you Gibson lovers, here's Will playing a G3 grabber. It sounds awesome. Check it out. We're going to cut to Jamie with his P bass and flat so we can hit that vintage tone. Now we're going to check out the controls and how intuitive they are. We're going to cut to Josh at a live gig and we're going to run them through their paces while he's playing. Let's check it out. panel. AC input just like all amps have here. Uh, power switch right here turns the unit on and off just like it sounds, nothing crazy there. Pin 1 uh, is uh, the lifts the, the ground pin 1 on the ground lift itself and then the ground lifts below. You have your uh, uh, XLR out, your pre and post EQ, you have your headphone in, your auxiliary in. This right here is a patch bay, you got four quarter inch ends, you got your tuner, you got your effects loop, and your uh, foot switch. Right here you have the cabinet impedance switch, you can pick uh, which speaker load you want to run for the amp itself. If you want to hear how this amp sounds in a mix, let's check in with Chris playing through Set the Witch on Fire with Lunar Satan. <laughs>
right, guys, that wraps it up. Uh, thanks again for sticking around. Again, if you haven't uh, clicked the subscribe button, please click that now. Click the notification button too so you can have a, uh, uh, access and, and knowledge of when we're going to drop another video or when it's already dropped. Uh, thank you again. If you're not a Patreon subscriber, it's really easy to do. It's very cheap and it gives you access to uh, exclusive content that you wouldn't normally find on our normal YouTube channel. It's, it's, I think it's $5, right? It's $5. You can do that. Throw $5 at it. Get access to tons of content that you wouldn't normally see. Uh, thank you again. We appreciate you guys. And, uh, you know, check out some of the other videos that we got. And we got more videos coming soon. Take care. Uh, until next time, my name's Chuck. I'm with the Bass Channel. Again, world's okayest bass player. You guys have a good one. <laughs>